All right, here's the pump and battery section for my self-contained automatic bilge pump. Piece of cutting board to fit in the hatch, a battery, it's a 8 amp battery. And I just put a piece of aluminum L-shaped bracket here which um, is attached to the base of my 500 gallon per minute at wood pump and ran the wires underneath tie wrapped them I put a waterproof inline 3 amp fuse right here and that's it this hose will attach here and then this end of my check valve will attach to my through hole fitting what I'm going to do on the through hole fitting is cut some of this cutting board and shape it into a wedge to where this sits in the hull at an angle like that instead of straight so that when it's at an angle the water will shoot out and go outside of the hull instead of straight up and it's perfect uh, there's no on off switch basically when the water level gets to about an inch uh, the pump will turn on or if the yak flips over I don't know if you can hear it but it will automatically turn on and start pumping if the yak flips over and uh, you can hear the float hopefully that will keep any water out and if water does get in there when it's flipped over when you flip it back it'll still be pumping all I have to do now is uh, coat these connections with some silicone and we'll be good to go more to come I'll do uh, the rest of this when I get it installed and show you guys how it's installed alright here's the rear hatch of my Outback basically the way this thing will fit in here will be just like this fits right down in there sets in there and the bottom of the bilge pump is actually touching the bottom of the hull and then all we do is close it up and there we have a self-contained automatic bilge pump I'm going to uh, mount the outlet right in here somewhere maybe right over here I'm not sure um, I thought about putting it right here or right here to where it shoots into my cargo area and goes out the scupper holes but I would rather have it a little bit higher probably right here is going to be a good spot and uh, just have to hook the hose up and tighten up a hose clamp when I stick it in there not very difficult to do so there it is self-contained Hobie bilge pump the uh, the hose will be in here all I have to do is reach in plug the hose in um, tighten it up with a hose clamp or use one of the uh, spring clamps shove it back in there and that's it self-contained bilge pump no switches no mess no fuss um, and it weighs whatever the battery weighs this is a uh, seven and a half amp battery plus the bilge pump which is a pound maybe between the bilge pump the uh, mount so the weight is negligible compared to a couple of gallons of water back there plus I have that added safety to wear if I do flip over and water gets in all it does is uh, turn on automatically there you go guys hope you enjoyed this one I'll show you the final uh, build in a minute all right, this is going to be my outlet hose for my self-contained 
automatic bilge pump. This is a three-quarter inch ID hose. It's very fle flexible. Uh, you can bend it in half and it won't kink. Um, so it will keep water flow going in tight spaces. Um, this is a three-quarter inch check valve from Home Depot. What I did was I just heated up the end of this and expanded it a little bit with my uh, screwdriver, shoved it in there and expanded it, and then I put a bead of Lexel inside and a bead of Lexel around it, shoved it in there, and it's nice and tight, glued in there with Lexel. Um, what I did on the check valve was remove that screw right there. It's a one-way valve and I took two turns off of the spring. Um, I hooked it up to my Sahara 500 gallon per hour bilge pump and it opens up uh, very easily. The flow is that way so actually uh, this will be cut off probably right around here which is where I'll put my through hole fitting right there and that way I'll only have that much water in the tube if I ever uh, if it ever gets wet I can also uh, put a small plug in there if I need to that's what some guys do is put a plug in there instead of use a check valve but I kinda like the check valve idea it works good um, and then the rest of this tube I'll shove in there and then the other end will attach to my bilge pump. Alright, what I've done here is hooked up temporarily this uh, outlet pipe which <coughs> which will, uh, this end will go to my through hole fitting. So I just hooked it up to test it. This is uh, again my check valve, one way flow. And uh, we're going to stick it in the water, see what happens here. There we go. Check now works good. And you can see the check valve does work. There's still water in the tube, so it won't go back into the kayak. Even when I blow on it, I just blew on it real hard and I can't get it to move. So it's pretty solid. So there you go, there's my test.